welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video just a reminder some great news the design of experiments for 21st century engineers the mini tab version has just been released. I know for those of you unfortunate enough to have selected mini tab you have a great deal of difficulty in understanding this software so we've created this special version of this text with the mini tab screenshots the link to lulu.com where you can buy this book is in the description below and of course you also have the option of purchasing drink tea and read the paper which is the perfect book to go with your green belt or Six Sigma black belt training the link to lulu.com for that book is also in the description below and of course the other thing that we'd really love you to do please go to buymeacoffee.com and make a small donation all of these things the purchase of the books and the donations they help keep the channel moving I'm really grateful to all of those people who are currently donating many thanks for your support and your help and now let's get on with today's video. Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's newsletter is Office 5S and why the clean desk policy is simply not needed. Please, senior managers, get out of the way and let your people run the process properly. So let's take a look at this. We're going to look at Office Office 5S. And we're going to take a quick look at the key to Office 5S. The idea of 5S is to visualize. Therefore, the clean desk policy is simply ridiculous. You are shoving the process in the desk so that nobody can see or find anything. And the key to great Office 5S is to discover the process and design the desk to visualize the process, not to tidy up every night not necessarily to draw around a telephone for some weird reason. The idea is to visualize the process and to make the process as easy to manage and run as you possibly can. I have a few photos here. Let's take a look at Great Office 5S. Now what you'll notice is the visualization that you see here. You can see here, look, process number one. This is a quotation cell. Look what we've got. I can't see what the three colours mean, but you've got the three colours there on the desk. You've got the three envelopes. So that if someone is not working at this cell, maybe the person is off ill, or they've taken a day's holiday, somebody can come into this workspace and they can immediately find what they're looking for. The process is visualised. Let's take a look at the next workplace organization example in an office. Now here, look, what we've got is we've got the routine desk set up and it's all visualized. We've got a non-routine desk to deal with inquiries, things that distract the day-to-day -day process. This is a fantastically designed process. This is what workplace organization, because that's what 5S is, delivers. Let's take a closer look. Here's the guy working the, the routine process. Look what we have. Everything is on the desk, visual. We can see all the work that he's working on right now. We would never ask this person to put this stuff in his drawer when he goes home. Because if he did that, if he doesn't turn up tomorrow, nobody can find anything. Great. Office 5S is about finding the process, visualizing it, and then making it easy to manage. 
It is not about this dis despotic nonsense. Clean your desk before you go home. That is just getting in the way of your workforce. Get out of the way, find the process, and let them run it properly. So, there were some really great examples. This video is pretty short. Office 5S should be very simple. But the key thing is finding the process. Once you've found the process, visualize it, make it easy to see. And I suppose one last kind of pointer for you, where should you go and look for grade 5S in the office? Forget looking at people's desks. Go and work on your computers because the 5S in most computers is bloody awful. You've got too much, too much old, uh, unused, uh, material on there that could be archived. It's chewing up all your um, server space, having to put extra servers in. It's costing you fortunes. And then a, a lot of what you've got stored is stored in a complete random pattern so that nobody can find it. So please, let's, let's get desks organized to support a process. Let's get the computers. Let's get the filing system. Let's get in there and five S it. And let's organize that to support the process. If you use 5S to support a process, what does it do? What should it do? It makes money. And that's what 5S is for. If you don't know how to do that, I need to help you. Drop me a line or call me. I hope to hear from you soon.